Hello, everyone, and welcome to Courtside with Tony Engel. Alongside the head coach of the Roadrunners of Dalton State, I'm Craig Corbin. Coach, good to see you. Good to see you again, Craig. A busy time of the schedule. Conference play, we talked last time about being in the middle of a stretch. Ten games in 23 days. That's an unforgiving part of the schedule. For it you. really is. It's tough because you've got to be ready to play night in, night out. You can't expend a lot of energy on the practice days before the games right. or after the games because you got another game. And indeed, when we talk about being a part of the Southern States Athletic Conference, no night off, one of the most competitive, if not the most competitive conference. You've got three teams ranked in the top 25, one that would be considered 26th receiving votes. That's William Carey that had spent time in the top 25 for most of the season. I don't know if there's anybody that's more competitive as far as a conference. Well, when we was ranked 15th early in the year, I said, that's great. We were really excited about that. But there's uh, teams ranked above us in our conference yep. as well. And, and that's one of the things that we're doing with our community and with our fans and with our recruits is educating them on mm -hmm. Dalton State Roadrunner basketball. Sure. And the conference is tough, which hopefully ever who makes it to the national tournament uh, it, it will uh, hopefully strengthen them. If we, we'll be able to fare well. You want you to see us do well, but if we don't make it, somebody else, you want them to do good. On this edition of Courtside, we'll see highlights from a victory over Blue Mountain, and then uh, we'll talk a little bit about uh, the uh, homecoming game, a tough top 25 matchup with Bethel, one of the hottest teams in the conference. Well, Beth Bethel has worked their way. They earned their stripes. It's the first time in 20-plus years that uh, that that they've been nationally ranked. It's their best team that they've had, and uh, hats off to them. Right. I always admire someone that works, works hard, and does it the right way, which they do. But it was a, a you know a tough ball game for us. Uh, but at the same time, I hope people appreciate where we are, no doubt, and what we did as as, as soon as we was able, as quick as we was able to do it is is really a tribute to their coaching staff, our booster club. And obviously our players. And even even you and this TV show helps us. Well, we, we hope so. Hope to be a positive part of Roadrunner basketball. Coming up on this edition of Courtside with Tony Engel, one of the stalwarts for the Roadrunners, Jordan Bowling. Stay with us. Back in just a moment. During a heart attack, every second is important. Hamilton Medical Center has invested even more into advanced cardiovascular technology and medical expertise with more outpatient and emergency cardiac capabilities than have ever been offered all just minutes away from home. That is why more people follow their hearts to Hamilton Medical Center. We're here for you. Hamilton Medical Center, your help is our mission. I am. I am. I am. I am. A nurse. Radiologic technologist. A manager. A lifesaver. I'm a leader. Going to make the world a better place. Going to change the world. Going to change the world. Going to change the world. Because of Dalton State. Because of Dalton State. Because of Dalton State. Because of Dalton State. Are you? Are you? Are you? Are you? And welcome back to Courtside with Tony Engel. Special guest, Jordan Bowling. And Jordan, welcome to the show. It has been a treat to watch you in action this season. Yes, Tell me what it's been like from the player standpoint to be a part of such a great start that the Roadrunners have been off to. Uh, it's, uh, it's amazing. It's, um, it's a lot of fun being with uh, good teammates, good friends, and a great community behind us. It's, it's something to look forward to every day. That's one thing that you uh, have seen, I think, every time that you've had the benefit of a home game here at the, the Mashburn Arena. Great turnout 
uh, every time out. But you also have seen, or at least I've noticed, what seems to be great chemistry within the team. Tell us a little bit about that. We just, uh, we all love to be around each other. It's, um, we're all friends. It's not just we're at practice because we have to be together. It's before practice, after practice. We're always either helping each other like with schoolwork or just hanging out. And it's just a lot of fun being around each other. One of the things that fans that have watched uh, Courtside with Tony Engel all season long have seen is uh, that you bring a lot of energy every time that you're on the court, uh, a lot of aggressive play on the boards, but you also have an outside game. Uh, what's it like to know that you can, you can make a contribution wherever you are on the floor? It's a blessing, I guess. Um, it's, I just try to do what I can to not hurt the team, and if I have an open shot, I'll take it. But it's uh, like I've always said, it's uh, the four seniors that I start with. I just do everything I can to help them out. And my dad always told me, like, just do the little things, make the hustle plays, and everything will fall into place. That and is evident. That's what I just try to do. That, okay. that is evident all season long, and without question, has to be a lot of fun to be a part of a top 10 team. Of course, Roadrunners number eight in uh, last week's poll, and uh, right in the thick of things in the Southern States Athletic Conference, probably one of the most competitive conferences that I can, uh, can remember in some time. What's it like to be in the thick of something that's so competitive every time out. It's, it's something fun. It's kind of like, I guess, the SEC football. It's the bottom of the conference brings it. I mean, we've had close games with bottom of the conference. You look at other scores, top teams, bottom teams. It doesn't matter. It's gonna, it's a, every game's a hard game. And, that's, and that, that is something that many people uh, sometimes forget is that regardless of where the opponent is ranked, you do have to bring your best game uh, every time out. Of course, uh, now in the second half of the season and beginning to look toward uh, the the conference tournament, it's nice to know that uh, the Roadrunners are eligible for postseason play, and I know that uh, the guys are excited about that. But uh, it's something that I know you don't want to look past anybody between now and, and tournament time. We just know we have to bring it and we just don't want to let the town down and it's just motivation to get there and we, we're we working hard and uh, it's showing and we just got to keep going. Without question it is showing. Now what are you majoring at? Uh, business management. Excellent. Yes, Excellent. Sir. Any long-term future plans for what you'd like to use your degree for? I either go into um, sports management maybe work my way up or go into coaching or um, just any, I would like to just stay around sports, like sports agency or something. Excellent. But, yes, Excellent. sir. One so. of the one of the, the favorite questions that I have any time that I get to uh, interview a player that plays under Coach Ingle is, what's it like to play for a coach <laughs> like Coach Ingle? It's a lot of fun. <laughs> you don't know what you're going to get any day. It's um. I believe that. <laughs> yeah, he he's fiery. He demands the best out of you, and that's what I like to play for. And. It, he pushes you sometimes and you get mad, but at the end of the day, I mean, you can't argue with the results. No. And I mean, 17 and three, we like to be 20 and 0, but I'm, sometimes the ball don't roll your way, but we still got to keep working and he brings that out in us. I have greatly enjoyed seeing you in action to this point. Look yeah. forward to the rest of the season. Yeah, so thank you for having me. You bet, and we greatly appreciate it. Jordan Bowling, uh, one of two guys on this team with double doubles. And I don't think there's uh, maybe one more team in the country that has that luxury. So, uh, again, a big part of the Roadrunner success this season. We've got much more ahead. Stay with us back in just a moment. I am. I am. I am. I am. A nurse. Radiologic technologist. A manager. A lifesaver. I'm a leader. Going to make the world a better place. Going to change the world. Going to change the world. Going to change the world. Because of Dalton State. Because of Dalton State. Because of Dalton State. Because of Dalton State. Are you? Are you? Are you? Are you? on you to be healthy. That is why you depend on Hamilton. Hamilton Diagnostic Center's advanced imaging technology provides superior image quality with reduced radiation exposure. 
Each image is analyzed by Hamilton's on-site team of specialty radiologists in close correlation with our surgeons, allowing for same-day results. We are here for you. Hamilton Diagnostic Center. Your health is our mission. Your home. It's made of wood and nails, doors and windows. But it's more than that. Your home is you. It's who you are, where you're from. It's what you long for whenever you're away. And it's the only place in the world where you know one thing for certain. Your home. To the highlights we go, the friendly confines of Mashburn Arena and uh, the opponent, Blue Mountain. Yeah, first minute of play, nice feed from the big guy, Jordan from long range. He can score it, he's a great shooter. That's the first basket of the ball game. Ladera said, what Jordan can do, I can do as well. Yeah, and they do have a little thing going with those three pointers and rebounds. Nicely done here in transition. Sean Tate making, oh, a little contact, trip, whistle, yeah, and I remember asking him if he had a nice trip. <laughs> I'm not, I don't want to know what he said. No. Defense, nicely done here, a little two-on-one. And contact, no whistle, but maintaining possession here on the ensuing possession. Unselfish play by the Roadrunners, finding the open man. Yeah, and that Anthony Hilliard's been doing more penetrating in the paint, dishing. There's Ladaris with another offensive rebound back in. He's just... You just love him on the boards. Approaching the 10 minute mark in the first half, hitting the boards as well. Mr. Bowling with the outlet to Tate, cross mid court. Here we see the next trip down the court. Green, Bowling, count it. Yeah, they, they like I said earlier, they, they have good chemistry. They feed the post, they look inside out. Here's Preston trying to penetrate. And uh, the, the call didn't go the way we wanted, but on the ensuing possession, Tate fouled. Actually, I think it was a technical on uh, the Blue Mountain bench. Yeah, and, and uh, Sean Tate shooting 86% from the line, one of the best in the country. No doubt. Again, first half action at home against Blue Mountain. Ladaris from way out. Wasn't quite a three, but a nice perimeter jumper. Right, and he, he's just so six foot ten with a nice touch. Is uh, hard to beat. Again, tenacious defense. Well, we hang our hat on our defense. You know, we're fourth in the nation in holding uh, people to uh, thirty-six percent shooting. Tate out front again, winding down. About seven minutes to go in the first half, and Green displaying that long range ability. Yeah, it's so fun to watch him. You know, he was 6'2 in the ninth grade and grew to be 6'10 by the time he was a senior. And maintained the ability to handle the ball as well. Here on the break, nice outlet to Sean waiting the secondary. And again, hitting the boards. Yeah, there's uh, uh, Raheem Mosley in there fighting, battling, scrapping. It's always good to see you guys hustle for the ball like that. Again, winding down the final five minutes of the first half. Jordan open from the oh, right corner. It's easy money. Easy money. Money ball, man. Blue Mountain and Dalton State matched up here. Nice one-handed rebound and a follow. I asked him, I said, you missing those on purpose to build up your average? <laughs> nice entry pass and again converting from the left block. Yeah, he's tough. He had a great game. He had a double-double that night, Craig. Final minute of the first half. Sean coming up with... The loose ball, and again driving as he is wont to do, and finding the open man wide open. Well, and I tell you, when we're hitting shots like that, we're we're unbeatable. And again, final second of the first half, the foul, and you get Sean on the line. And as you mentioned, Coach, one of the best, not just in the conference, but one of the best in the country. Absolutely, and he's he's fun to watch. Brings a lot of energy. Final second of the first half, nothing doing there. And at the break, an 11 point advantage for the run runners. On to the second half we go. Blue Mountain and a nice steal by Jordan, the outlet to midcourt. Road runners looking to keep things rolling here in conference play. With that. Yeah, Jordan, Jordan got the rebound, got the outlet, shot what we call a killer basket, missed it, but uh, Tate setting it up. And here's Preston on a little plate we call Tiger. Nicely, it's nice anytime that you can get those offensive rebounds and get a second crack oh, at it. 
Absolutely. You, you love him. Ladarius, he, he just rebounds, great outlet, advancing the ball to Preston. He was hot. One thing that we've seen all season long, at this point, 11 minutes and change to go, and Dalton State again on top. But a drive and a beautiful conversion. Yeah, and that's uh, Anthony Hilliard again. It's so always good to see someone off the bench score like Jermaine Burry. He, he can, he can, he's a good shooter. Well, and we've seen games this year, and one that comes to mind, the uh, Martin Methodist game, where he was very much uh, important in that game. Yes, he was. 20 points off the bench was a phenomenal night in that game. Uh, this, this was, uh, uh, I think, at this time, about a five, six-point game. And, right. And uh, Sean just controls the, the tempo. Anthony again on a floater. This would be as close as they would get. And of course, immediately the Roadrunners answer. Uh, a minute or two later, they cut it to seven. Uh, and again, the Roadrunners answer. Final minute of play here. Look at that outlet pass. Well, it's not an outlet, but it's a, an inbound. That's a nice tandem there, green to bowling. Don't you love that? And how would you like to have him in your backfield if you're playing football? Yes, indeed. Final minute of play again. And again, the defensive stop and in transition, no doubt there. Uh, it's a good team effort, good team of basketball, and that's what contributed to the victory. And again, the final minute of play, and all for naught, a little uh, block <laughs> shot there, another block <laughs> shot. That, that give that poor fella a complex. <laughs> I know. Jordan blocks it, and then Ladarius blocks it. Uh, one last go at it, but the Roadrunners with enough for yet another win at home, and just for good measure, at the just a couple of seconds left there. Last bucket of the night for Dalton State. Final score 77 to 64. Jordan Bowling with a double double, 19 points and 10 rebounds on the night. Ladaris Green, eight boards, 15 points from Preston Earl, 11 points from Sean Tate. Collectively, the Roadrunners 40% from the floor, 40.7% beyond the arc, and 82% at the foul line. Hamilton Medical Center is keeping the people of our region moving. From non-surgical solutions for osteoarthritis and back and joint pain, to total knee, hip and shoulder replacements and complex spinal surgeries, Hamilton's team of experts have the technology, education and experience needed to bring relief and healing. And our Joint Moves Replacement Program is certified by the Joint Commission for meeting or exceeding national standards of care. We're here for you. Hamilton Medical Center. Your health is our mission. I am. I am. I am. A nurse. Radiologic technologist. A manager. A lifesaver. I'm a leader. Going to make the world a better place. Going to change the world. Going to change the world. Going to change the world. Because of Dalton State. Because of Dalton State. Because of Dalton State. Because of Dalton State. Are you? Are you? Are you? Are you? Another special guest on this edition of Courtside with Tony Engel, the chairperson, the chairman of the Dalton State Roadrunners Men's Basketball Club. Did I get that right? Yes, exactly Brady Krill, right. Good to see you. Thanks for having me. It has been a while since last we got to, to visit, and uh, a lot has gone on since then. The Roadrunners are just clicking right along, top ten in the nation, right at the top uh, competitively in the conference. And a big part of what's going on here at home is the activity of the Roadrunner uh, Basketball Club, and uh, obviously you and the foundation board have uh, done quite a bit to make sure that's happening. Give us an update. 
Well, uh, I think it's really a, a tribute to the people that we have in there because we have a great group uh, that really all I have to do is sort of give them all the task and once I give them the task, they're, they're pretty adept at uh, getting it done and they know everybody. Most of them are homegrown. A lot of them played ball with Coach Ingle, right. uh, good or bad. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, so they're, they really are, really and truly, they love him, they love Coach, and they love doing things for the university and for the, for the town. You know, it is enjoyable when you've got a good group like that that's all pulling in the same direction. One of the things that obviously was a huge success uh, in the, the recent uh, months, the golf tournament. And uh, I know that a lot of people turned out and really had a great time. Oh, I, it was really a terrific turnout. I'd like to say a special thank you even on this to Mike Douglas, and to Lamar McClure and Larry Harrison because they did all of the work and uh, terrific uh, golf tournament. Uh, I saw some people play and uh, Coach Engel included and we will not keep score <laughs> on some of these, but I will say that we want to make it an annual event. That's great. And, uh, and I think there's a lot of community support. Uh, we had uh, quite a number of businesses that were really uh, enthusiastic to support it. You know, you talk about the community support. That has been evident from day one with the establishment of the, the Roadrunner basketball program. And a big part of that is the experience that those who support the program have for home games here at the Mashburn Arena. Walk us through an average night or an average Saturday afternoon when uh, one of the uh, season ticket holders, one of the, the club members comes to a home Roadrunner game. Well, first of all, I think the school and the Athletic Administration's done a great job. They create a really good atmosphere. But uh, for myself personally, you can drive right in if you're one of the Founders Clubs or you're on the uh, Roadrunner Men's Basketball Club. Drive right here to the back door, come right in, have your tickets, they'll escort you. We have a nice place you can go up for a few hors d'oeuvres, maybe a drink before the game starts. And we can yell at all the officials <laughs> way up there. They don't know where it's coming from. I like that. I like that. <laughs> but it's it's really a great experience. I think they have done a great job of making the community feel welcome. And uh, there's a, it's great to see all the little road runners running around too. The little kids that are going to be the foundation for the for the school in the years to come. Well, and uh, you've hit on something that I think is the foundation of a great atmosphere. A home court advantage, if you will, for the Roadrunners. It has to be enjoyable to see them experiencing success on the hardwood and knowing they're right in the thick of the conference race, right among the best in the nation now. In just the second year of existence, uh, from the foundation's uh, standpoint, that has to be pleasing. It does, <clears throat> but I wouldn't expect anything less. That's right. Not from anything that Coach Ingle's involved with. But they really... I think have a great uh, chance to go even further this year. They are in a conference. Last year we didn't have that uh, luxury, and so we had to take the accolades that we could from all the wins. Well, this year all of the wins mean something, and I'm looking forward to have to figure out some way to be at the tournaments. I've got to figure out some way to go visit someone in my business so I can write it off, but I'm looking forward to the tournaments. I understand Kansas City is a great place to be. Oh, yes, it March. is. I'm mean, Good stakes. <laughs> Brady, thanks so much for being with Thank us. Thank you very much. We've got much more ahead on this edition of Courtside with Tony Engel. Stay with us. Back in a moment. Your home, it's made of wood and nails, doors and windows, but it's more than that. Your home is you. It's who you are where you're from. It's what you long for whenever you're away. And it's the only place in the world where you know one thing for certain, your home. The health of our region depends on the health of its people. That is why Hamilton is here. We're opening more physician practices and urgent care centers near you offering medical care that fits your schedule. We're giving you new ways to search for doctors and health information from wherever you are. And we're proud to be named the number one mid-size hospital in Georgia by Georgia Trend Magazine. We're here for you. Hamilton Medical Center. Your health is our mission.
I am. I am. I am. A nurse. Radiologic technologist. A manager. A lifesaver. I'm a leader. Going to make the world a better place. Going to change the world. Going to change the world. Going to change the world. Because of Dalton State. Because of Dalton State. Because of Dalton State. Because of Dalton State. Are you? Are you? Are you? Are you? And back again here on Courtside. Been a great show, Coach. Uh, the chance to visit both with Brady Krell and one of the guys uh, on the team, Jordan Bowling, young man who really has made a huge difference in this year's team. Absolutely phenomenal player and better person. He came in after uh, Isaiah went down with a knee injury, and then he got in the starting lineup, and we found that's five starters, and he has just been the glue. Only junior, only junior as a starter. Double double guy inside out as you talked about, but wasn't he beautiful? Don't you love? It? You know he's got a twin brother. He got a twin brother, identical twin brother. But I told Jordan he's the pretty one. <laughs> I said he's the pretty one now. <laughs> I love it. One of the nice things that we've enjoyed watching uh, Jordan and the Roadrunners this year is the fact that they're giving a hundred and ten percent every time out. And I think some of what you heard from uh, Jordan's comments was that the, the the Tony Engel philosophy really has taken hold with this team. Well, Tony Engel philosophy came from Brady Creel that was on earlier and and uh, just phenomenal individual, great coach and I am if I've had any success at all it's directly proportional to Brady Creel and obviously to the players. Matter of fact, coach Creel taught me if at first you don't succeed, blame it on the referees. <laughs> <laughs> that works for me. Coach as always a pleasure. We thank you for being with us. We thank you for watching at home. It's been a treat. We'll follow the Roadrunners the rest of the way right here on Courtside with Tony Engel. We'll see you next time.